This is just a quick note about Bob Gunston and his project to create a glandu glandular bulb. It was about the size of a beach ball. It was flat on the bottom so it could sit on its base in a glass tub of saline liquid and it had two eyes and sort of a slimy texture and it was warm on top of the head. If you touched it on top of the head, it would get warm. You could warm your hands on top of its head and it had two eyes that would blink sort of as a way of communicating with you and each time it blinked, it would shed a couple of tears. It didn't have a mouth, but instead for intake and out and excretion, it had a tube, sort of gristle, jelloid, jelloid tubes. And so that was uh, the first breakthrough uh, of, uh, of Bob Goonston in his labor laboratory at Lumpkins University. So the thing about this uh, glandular bulb is that it has the ability to be both happy and sad. Well, it's company, because there's a lot of loneliness out there. And uh, so it can keep you company. And it's a little bit more than a house plant in that you can give it a pat on the head and it'll show emotions. It'll be warm on the top of the head and also uh, it can be both happy and sad. When it's sad, it will shed a couple of tears and when it's glad, it will wink at you. So uh, that's why Bob Goonston is working on his plan in his home. Just because there's a lot of loneliness and it could make the perfect companion for someone who can't afford a pet because pets require b medical bills and food. So this is very inexpensive. Thank you.